Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So at the beginning of this month, Microsoft rolled out PowerToys version 0.82, which is the latest stable release for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, uh, that release included a new feature added to Power Rename and included improvements in the Paste as JSON feature and fixed many crashes. And they were focusing a lot on stability. Um, with version 82. Now just to let you know that just a couple of days later that Microsoft has already rolled out another patch release to fix issues in version 82 which bumps it up now as you can see to 82.1 once again focusing on stability. So there's obviously been a couple of issues uh, in PowerToys since version 82 rolled out so um, it's just three little fixes that have rolled out. But because I like to keep it posted, and I do know that some of you use Power Toys, thought you may be interested. And this update actually rolled out late last week. But for some strange reason, I only received the update today in my region, although it's been out for a good couple of days. So that was a bit strange because normally I get the Power Toys updates as soon as they are released. Uh, but nonetheless, better late than never, and just to keep you guys posted. Now, once again, Power Toys Run, which is a quick launcher for your desktop. If you have that feature enabled using Alt and Space, um, they fixed a crash on Windows 11 when starting PowerToys Run on Windows 11. And they also fixed a PowerToys Run appearing too bright on Windows 10. So PowerToys Run not really behaving itself on both OSs. And they also fixed the installation issues um, that were causing Winget Configure to not work correctly with PowerToys. And that's it. That's the three fixes that Microsoft deemed important enough to roll out since version 82 rolled out earlier this month. And uh, I just wanted to keep you guys posted in case you were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.